Good morning. Good morning. So we have had some replies from the Environmental Protection Agency about this letter that we apparently need from them to allow Bumblebee to cross the border into the US. So I've been in contact with the guy from there and I've basically, I explained our situation, I explained that we've booked our wedding and that we really, really needed to get this letter to get Bumblebee across the border. And this is his reply. Exemptions can take 14 to 21 business days for processing. That's like literally what it says on the website. Apparently he can't do anything for us to speed up the process. So we are kind of stuck. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're gonna do us any favors. So I was having a look on some of the groups on Facebook and some of the forums to try and find out what people's experience of the border was and if they were actually asked for this letter. And it's really interesting because it seems that nobody has been really asked for this letter. Everybody just said, oh, they were just waved through or they didn't have to do anything about it. I don't know. You think we should email Itchy Boots and ask her? Yeah. Let's do it. Help us, Itchy Boots! <laughs> because when we watched her episode, we weren't really sure whether she was actually asked for this. So, yeah, maybe she can tell us. She replied! Uh, actually, it's pretty good. She said that no one asked her when she crossed the border. No, that looks actually really promising. So I wonder if we should just just go for it. Of course we do, we just go for it. <laughs> I mean, it looks actually really promising what she said. On every comment on our Overlander and no one was mentioning anything. Once you're in, you're in basically. There is no temporary import permit that you have and need to return when you exit the country. So basically, if we get to the border and they just check the passports and wave us through, then that's it, we're in. I think it looks promising, so I think we should go for it. At least we can try it and, and see how it goes. Our plan was to cross the border in one week. So let's do it. Let's, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so the keys. Is that okay if we stay here for uh, just to have some lunch or just to- No, no, you can stay okay. here all day. <laughs> you want, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. I make some tortillas at the moment. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Just cold to tears. I have cheese, I have avocados. Is there a micro, a little micro? Yeah, I have some frijoles, yes. Oh. <laughs> we are prepared. I'm not vegetarian, uh -huh. but I try to do no eat meat. Uh -huh. Not too much. Yes, no? fish. Yes. Fish. Okay, that's fish good. Or I eat a lot of tortillas. Yes. Look how many. <laughs> Why, yes. why a lot? Because we eat, <laughs> we eat every day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yes. Thank you so much. No. Awesome. The lady from the reception is so super nice. It's nice air conditioning here and we will take the night ferry so we can pretty much just chill out for now here. Oh yes. I'm becoming a taco master, I can tell you. Yes, time to eat some tacos. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 383 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Los Moshes in Mexico and we're just going from the hotel that we've been staying at for the past couple of days up to collect Bumblebee because Bumblebee is at a parking just around the corner. Well, I hope Bumblebee's just still around the corner. We dropped her off a couple of days ago, so hopefully they've taken care of her. But we have an exciting afternoon and evening ahead, so let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here, and today we're gonna to be taking this little road down to Tupolobambo to take a ferry across to the Baja California Peninsula. Yes, it's just a short ride for us today because we are heading over to the ferry port at Topolobambo, which is not very far from here. And we'll be going there to the office to get the tickets for the ferry, but the ferry won't be until about 11 o'clock tonight, I think. So we're gonna go get Bumblebee now from the parking. 
should be just here. Bumblebee's still there? Yes, Bumblebee's still here. So we're going to bring Bumblebee back to the hotel, pack her up, and then head over to the ferry port. Well, it's five o'clock already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just spent so much time chatting to Michael, another biker who just arrived at the hotel. Then we were just like, oh, it's actually going to get dark in a little bit. So we better make our way to the ferry. Yes. <laughs> we haven't even got tickets yet. <laughs> yeah, really friendly guy. And he told us a crazy story because he started his um, journey with a friend, actually. They drove um, all the way from LA down to uh, Mexico, to the border, to Guatemala. And his friend got in an accident. The accident is apparently so bad that at the moment he can't even walk anymore. It's a really dangerous thing doing long motorcycle journeys. I mean, just being on a motorcycle is just incredibly dangerous. It really makes you think about it and just how careful you have to be and just how conservatively you have to ride, like how boring you have to be, basically. Yeah. You have to ride like super boring all the time. Yeah. Because when you're sitting on this bike, there's a risk. Totally. Always, always a risk. Totally. But today we have actually a very short ride from Los Moshes to Topolobambo to the ferry terminal. We're not really in a rush because uh, the ferry is not leaving until I think 11 o'clock tonight. It's an overnight ferry. I think it's 11 o'clock and then you arrive at 8 in the morning in La Paz on the Baja California Peninsula. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So we've spent most of the day just doing some work. Try to catch up with some editing, creating some thumbnails. <laughs> oh yeah, thumbnail creating is always a fun business, hey? Yeah. <laughs> How can we get you guys to click on this? <laughs> Looks quite cute here. Look at this collection of colorful houses. Yeah, that is actually really nice. Yeah. Do you think they like went to a meeting and said, right, you paint yours green, <laughs> you paint yours blue? I think they just said, pick your uh, favorite color. Yeah, but I mean, look, it's very evenly spread out. Otherwise, it could be like everybody liked green and every house on this side is green. They're swimming there. <laughs> nice. Beautiful marina here. Yeah. And I think this is literally it coming to the ferry port now. Oh, so we have to see where we got to get our tickets. I have no idea. I have no idea. So we'll keep riding forward. I think the entrance was actually back where we just were, hey? Definitely looks like the entrance. Yeah. Terminal de Transporadores. Hola. 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 Um, Baja Ferry Biletera. It's a... Uh, ah, okay. Okay, perfect. ID? See? ID? Yeah. Paper. Paper. Okay, get the document from here. <laughs> this page. Ah, yes. Aha, uh -huh. aduanas. <laughs> Gracias. Very good, my friend. Ah, yes. We in Oregon. Oregon? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Oregon, okay. Eugene. Oh, Eugene. Ah, nice. Tres semanas, uh, y Oregon, si. Sí. Si. Sí. Oregon, Washington, and Vancouver. Yes. Gracias, gracias. Oh, I hate these bumps. The wheels always slide on them. Okay, let's see where we have to go next. Yeah, that was like quite um, rigorous. Like uh, it was almost like a border, wasn't it? Yeah. You're at the limit now, aren't you? <laughs> I am. With everything going on with the US border. Oh my God, I'm so scared, really. I'm so scared that they won't let us in. We're at the logistical limit of what we can take on this journey, I reckon. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Yeah. It's like, it's really, really hard for my heart. That's all right, this will be easy. This is just a nice little ferry ride. Exactly. A nice eight hour ferry ride. Yeah, I think they said like, go, yeah, like around, no? Okay. Oli just went inside to buy the tickets and I will take care of Bumblebee here. But it's pretty chilled at the moment. It's just six o'clock and I think the ferry is leaving by like 11 or 12. So we have a lot of hours to wait and to relax. 
20 minutes later. So bad news, they told us that the ferry for tonight is full, they have no space for us. So uh, we decided just to book some tickets for tomorrow night instead. So it's really stupid because we've just been in town for two days, literally 30 minutes from here. I thought that we could just arrive here. We even contacted them online uh, with a chat and said, yeah, we want to take the ferry tomorrow, da, 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 we'll buy the tickets. And they said, yeah, no worries. And they never mentioned once to us, oh, by the way, make sure you come early or this and that because maybe they'll be full. They were just like, yeah, no problem. And then we arrive here and they're like, oh no, it's full. So we're going to get the tickets now, but before we can get the tickets, we have to get the bike weighed, which you have to pay for as well. We have to basically take this line here, go and get weighed, and then take our weight over to the ticket office, and then they'll book us in. All right. Let's get Bumblebee weighed. Weighed and measured. Hola. Aquí? Yeah? It's okay? <laughs> Hola. Buenas. Placa K P 70 D N U. Nombre Oliver. Inglaterra. <laughs> okay, gracias. Perfecto. Ciao, ciao. Does it say how much Bumblebee? Oh, 320 kilo. That's Bumblebee's loaded weight. That's with a full, full, full tank. Full with water as well. That's not too bad. I mean, the dry weight is probably nearly 300 kilo. No, the dry weight's maybe 260 kilo. Gracias. Aha! Para ti? Yeah. Okay, gracias. Trescien... Trescientos veinte. Trescientos veinte. Okay, gracias. So then this one, but uh, eso. Okay, muchas gracias. Okay, so we're heading out of the ferry port now. We asked them at the ticket booth uh, if it was worth waiting around until later because they did say that you could do that if you wanted to and then if they had some cancellations or extra space they would get us on but they did say that the chances of that were very low so we decided in the end to just get our ticket for tomorrow yes exactly so at the end the ticket cost us 6465 mexican pesos which is about 280 pounds so a little bit over budget but Baja California is supposed to be a really nice peninsula so you really shouldn't miss out on it and it's really safe to travel there as well and plus it's an eight hour ferry so you know 280 pounds for us and the bike I guess that's okay it's not too bad and it will save us a night of accommodation <laughs> that's costs. true so that's true yeah. so now we've booked ourselves back in at hotel lorena the same hotel that we've been at for the last couple of days so it's about a 26 minutes ride to our hotel and we will catch you tomorrow hey guys i don't know if you've noticed us wearing these t-shirts before well, these are our Overlander tees and we're selling them on our Etsy store. We actually designed them ourselves, so you better like them. If you love what we do and want to show your support, why not buy one of these super cool tees? By doing so, you'll be helping us get a hot meal or a cozy air-conditioned room for the night. Head over to our Etsy store and order one today. We get it shipped out for you wherever you are in the world. Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> you can find the link to the store in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. And now, back to the video. The next day. All right, we are back at the ferry port, at the terminal, the transportadores. And now, we are ready to take a ferry tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> so, we've made our reservation. We just have to go to the booth, the same booth we got the tickets from, and uh, get our reservation exchanged for an actual ticket. That should be all gravy. We should be good to go. Hola, buenas. Four straps. Uh, no. 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 Okay, so we are leaving the port again. 
because they just told us that we need to provide our own ratchet straps to strap down the bike on the ferry and I said no it's fine we'll just put it in gear put it on the side stand like that's fine for me no problem and then she said no the ferry requires that you have these straps like you need these straps to get on the ferry if you don't have the straps you're not allowed on the ferry I'm really regretting that we want to take this ferry really so anyway we are heading into town back into town now uh, to go to a shop called AutoZone which luckily is open until 10 and they sell a pack of four straps I think it costs about 25 pounds all of this time and all these ferries we have not needed ratchet straps of our own for any reason well let's go back into town then eh? yeah <laughs> <sighs> yeah, oh, head back into town, get the ratchet straps, get back to the ferry port. Hopefully that'll be all. Ollie just went inside the shop and sees if he can find some straps for us. It's not easy to take this ferry. It's not easy. <laughs> oh yes, we're all strapped up now. Yes. Oh, here we go. A pack of four ratchet straps that we're only going to need to use once. So they cost 377 which is about I think it's about 15 pounds okay and they're three meters long okay I hope that'll be enough back at the ferry port for the third time and hopefully for the last time <laughs> yeah seriously if they need anything else to get this ferry then I'm swimming <laughs> uh, gracias. gracias okay okay mission complete got all tickets here and she just told us as well that it's breakfast included so tomorrow morning at 6 a.m we can have a nice breakfast hopefully that's got to be worth 300 pounds <laughs> better be a really really good breakfast i tell you hash browns sausages vegetarian chips beans chips <laughs> what chips. are you eating toast beans got it <laughs> another motorcyclist there who's like yeah I had to go buy straps just before everyone's gonna go buy straps <laughs> I tell you there's something going on between this ferry company and the company that sells straps in town it's like a thing happening it's only seven o'clock now I don't board with the motorcycle until 10 Lavi doesn't come on until 11 so we've got plenty of time now so we're just gonna unpack our stuff a bit have some dinner and just chill out see ya time Bed is waiting for us on the ferry. I don't think so. <laughs> Bye. Oli is going now uh, with the motorbike with Bumblebee, and I have to wait here and see what's going on next. It's already 11:30, so it's quite late. I hope he will be all right. Oh, there she is at the window. Bye bye. Yeah, everything's taken ages. They're not really. Uh... Nothing seems to be happening. But anyway, I'm gonna take the bike over to where all the cars are waiting and see if we're getting pretty close to actually getting on this ferry. It's kind of weird riding in sandals and socks, but it's kind of nice as well. So, here's a bunch of cars. No idea where to go, so I'm just gonna go to like the front because that's where the bikers go oh look yeah they're still loading still all the trucks still going how big is this ferry there's nobody in any of these cars either all right just wait here then i really don't know how everybody knows the order but anyway there's some trucks just going on it now no way the trucks are reversing onto the ferry Wow, that's crazy. These like big trucks are reversing up the ramp. And as far as I can see, I'm the only bike around. I cannot see any other bikes. 20 minutes. No. 80. 80 minutes. No, oh. Una AM. Una AM. Oh. Okay, gracias. I can finally board. It's 12.15 and I think actually Oli is still waiting in the queue. I can't see him, but I can just see that actually just the trucks are boarding. So he might still have to wait for a while. It looks actually that the trucks, they have to reverse back 
boats onto the boat. Super crazy. seems to be getting called on but they're leaving the bike until last so I'm still waiting everyone seems to be going on except me I think Lavi is probably already on the boat chilling in her comfy seat it's not that comfortable unfortunately We've just had the call that we could start moving, which is amazing. It is 20 to 1 now, and on the ticket it says the ferry was supposed to leave at midnight, so that's not happening. But this is an improvement, we're getting closer. Okay. The motorcyclists have been called, me and this fella just here. I'll just follow him. I think we're going. I think we're going. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. Wow, it looks much bigger up close. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got a strap. Bumblebee down now. There we go, our beloved ratchet straps. Useful for the first and only time. Necesito más o no? Si? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. New fans of the channel. Woo! All right. I gotta pack away these cameras. Listo? Okay, perfect. Gracias. All right, the cameras are secure. Bye, Bumblebee. Gracias. All right, let's go up. All right. Just arrived on the top deck. Where am I going? Hola, buenas. Hola. Dieciocho, por Okay, gracias. Puerta, I think, means door. So I'll go to the puerta. Passenger lounges. Every day where I'm walking, it feels like it feels like I'm not supposed to be here. Seat area. Where is Lavi? Where is Lavi? Oh. I see some seats. Ah, oh, there you are. I found you. Wow, look at this place. Look, they got a little bar. How cool is that? So where's our seats? So our seats are taken. How do you know they're taken? Later. So that's it. We've made it onto the ferry and this is going to be us for the next eight hours. Yes, we will try to just get comfortable now and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.